Merci, Madame Président. Uh, Minister, this week we've seen several damning media reports outlining several failures to get a handle on this pandemic over the crucial early stages of the process. Your government continually defers to the experts and defending those uh, early failures, but ultimately the decisions and responsibilities for those decisions always rest with Cabinet. I'm concerned about your government's reliance solely on public health agency and not on the expertise of our military medical intelligence unit who sounded the alarm way back in January. This unit relies on information not only from the World Health Organization, but also on intelligence shared amongst our five I allies, including the U.S., whose intelligence was warning of this outbreak as far back as November 2019. So my question, Minister, to you is why did we rely on a body that appears only to be parroting the World Health Organization and information coming from Communist China and not on our military intelligence unit that was certainly providing a different picture if the cabinet was willing to listen a few months ago. Well, thank you for the question. I can assure you that we, uh, we have and will continue to consider all these sources of information uh, that we have and uh, that will form our response um, in uh, in our estimation, uh, we need to continue to consider the uh, the, uh, the science and the uh, the medical expertise here, and also look towards the examples of other countries and how they're dealing with this challenge. Some of whom are are uh, ahead of us in the sense that they've already experienced a worse challenge, and we can get some. Uh, some value in considering what's worked and what's not worked. So we will consider all those sources of information, uh, have done so, and I uh, think it's important to do so. Well, Minister, again, we had intelligence information back in November and January that highlighted the danger of this and had an urgency underlined in their, their evaluation of things, where our health officials were saying back in January and February, uh, certainly we shouldn't overreact and we shouldn't worry. So I think the cabinet has to really look at why some of that intelligence information didn't get to the to the top and didn't get a fair hearing. Uh, last time you and your colleagues were here, Minister, uh, I cited a 2006 report which was prophetic in its warning about what we're seeing right now as far as lack of preparedness for equipment in this pandemic. The report recommended a federal stockpile, the one I asked Minister Haydu about and she refused to answer last time you guys were here. She has since acknowledged, Minister, that the stockpile wasn't maintained and I'm concerned with what your government is doing now to ensure that gross negligence is, is rectified, not only for the next pandemic, but for the current one. So my question, in addition to the tons of money which understandably we're, we're putting out there for, for federal assistance to Canadians. Have you entered into contractual discussions with manufacturers, not only to fulfill the current backlog need, but looking at setting up stockpiles in the future if there's a second wave or a third wave or another pandemic in the future so we're better prepared? Well, I'd like to start by uh, rejecting the premise of your question. Uh, we do and will continue to consider all sources of information as we come up with our plans. Um, and uh, we will and will need to consider the situation that we're in and the uh, preparedness that, uh, that we have as we consider next steps. To your specific question about whether we are in the midst of contracting with, uh, with organizations to provide the appropriate uh, personal protective gear, the answer is yes, uh, to the extent that uh, your question is asking about things like ventilators, the, uh, the answer is yes. We are in the midst of, of ensuring that we procure the appropriate resources for, uh, for our country now and uh, looking towards having a secure source of supply on an ongoing basis. Um, my last question, Minister, has to do specifically with finances and directly uh, involves the decisions you've made over the last four years. Your government decided to have deficit management fund, uh, funding approach to, to the last four years of our fiscal policy. Do you regret the fact that over the last four years you ran up deficits during a relatively decent economic time? And now that we're in the midst of a real a huge crisis. Do you regret not having that $70 billion available to you in order to substantiate even further the aid you're putting out to Canadians? Uh, well, uh, first, I think it's important to consider the premise of your question. Uh, we uh, we uh, found ourselves at the beginning of this uh, this challenge in a very strong fiscal position. So uh, what you've seen during the course of the last um, Four and four and a half years while we've been in office, we've we've reduced the amount of our of our uh, debt 
as a function of our gross domestic product, and we think that that's appropriate. So that puts us in a position where we have the capacity to fund ourselves through this challenge. Um, Minister. We will continue to, uh, to take that approach, of course, when we're not in Minister. a crisis period. I'm sorry. We have to move to another questioner.